Hi, you're watching Real Loop. I'm Gina Morelli. In this episode, we'll talk about rising interest rates, demand, and skyrocketing home equity. Let's start with our local Coos and Curry County market update for March. In Coos County, comparing 2021 to 2020 through March, the average sales price has increased 29.6% to $306,800. In the same comparison, the median sales price has increased 25.6% to $270,000. Inventory is down to 1.4 months compared to 3.8 in March 2020, but the same 1.4 in February 2021. Total market time for homes averaged 82 days in March compared to 63 in February. 85 homes sold for an average of 98% of the listing price and 97% of the original price. In Curry County, comparing 2021 to 2020 through March, the average sales price has decreased 2.2% 2 .2 to 337,800, while the median sales price has decreased 1.6% to 308,000. Inventory is down to 1.2 months compared to 4.5 in March 2020 and 1.5 in February 2021. Total market time for homes averaged 129 days in March compared to 137 in February. 61 homes sold for an average of 98% of the listing price and 97% of the original price. Interest rates are on the rise. The average 30-year fixed is recorded by Freddie Mac at 3.18%. Historically, low interest rates were announced 16 times last year when they dropped into the mid-twos. As the economy improves across the country, however, interest rates are starting to creep up and have returned to the level of June last year. We can expect to see interest rates continue to rise as the economy improves with predictions ranging from 3.25% to 3.75%. With demand for homes outpacing new listings, buyer competition continues to intensify. On average, there were four offers per home sold in February, according to NAR's latest Realtors Confidence Index report. One year ago, there were two to three buyers for every home sold. The intense competition has led to double-digit price growth and properties selling in record time. To get back to a healthy supply level equivalent to six months of monthly demand, an additional 2.7 million homes should be on the market for sale. Some people will feel more comfortable listing their home in the second half of 2021. Others will want to wait until COVID-19 vaccines are widely distributed. This suggests more inventory will be for sale in late 2021 and into the spring selling season of 2022. It's not just a seller's market, it's a super seller's market. This is an increasingly competitive home buying environment, and that's true across the country. As home prices increase, homeowners are experiencing skyrocketing equity in their homes. The average gain over the last year has been 26300 the current average equity of a mortgaged home is 204,000 across the country. 38.2% of homes are owned free and clear, and overall equity increased 16.2%, totaling over 1.5 trillion. If you look across the map here, states across the country are seeing significant gain in home equity over the last year. Compared to the average US home equity gain of 26,300, Take a look at the Pacific Northwest region and surrounding states came in strong. Oregon's average home equity gain over the last year is 32,000. Coos and Curry County data sourced from rmls.com and national data sourced from Keeping Current Matters. If you'd like to know more, feel free to send us questions or post comments. We are always looking for better ways to serve our community and hearing from you helps us do that. Stay safe and keep an eye out for next month's market update.